Welcome to my YouTube channel Rohu Tech. My name is Rohan and today in this video we will be talking about HSTS that is HTTP strict transport security. So we are on now on our uh, blog that is rohutech.com and I have written a very informative article over HSTS so I have added this uh, link to the description box in this video. So let's come to the definition of HSTS. So here as you can see I have added the Wikipedia definition also. So this Wikipedia definition I can say is more of a bookish definition which has all the technical jargons in that. So when I first read this definition I didn't really relate to what exactly the HSTS is so for that i have tried to like simplify the definition of hsts so this is how it goes so basically hsts is a policy which forces a web browser to always load a domain using https protocol and hsts does this by checking the domain list in the hsts preload list so from this definition you might have captured uh, two terms that is HSTS which is what this video is all about and there is another one that is HSTS preload list so let's try to cover this both the terms further in the video so let's talk about HSTS in more of a layman's term so let's consider you are uh, trying to access a bank website let's say the bank website's uh, website is abc.com without adding http and https so the very first request always goes via an http protocol and the http protocol as most of you know that it is uh, it doesn't have an encryption over the request so all the uh, details are visible over the request so if anyone is trying to read that request or tries to listen to that request that that someone can try to steal your information so to explain this i'll just try to show this complete flow on a notepad so let's go to the notepad so there is this client who is trying to access abc.com so this request first goes to a router for the network. Let's consider this as network. Okay. Now this router sends the information to the local ISP and this ISP then sends the request further to the main server. That is ABC so on this server uh, the website is configured in such a way that it will always load the website on HTTPS so what the server does is in the response it sends the website abc.com as HTTPS so again the same flow and the client receives the website on its browser as HTTPS abc.com so when if the client has sent the request in http without adding any protocol it tries to, uh, or it gets the website as https so this was a normal flow wherein everything is fine everything is all a uh, win-win situation so let's uh, consider that there is a man in the middle who can be said as hacker also Mostly what hackers does is they try to listen to all the requests over the network. So this mostly happens when uh, you are trying to access a public network, let's say a public Wi-Fi, open Wi-Fi, maybe somewhere in the cafeteria or a library or um, or yeah, even your local ISP might be compromised. So your router might be compromised or your ISP might be compromised. So when I say compromised, that means the hacker on the man in the middle has figured out a way uh, to try to listen to all the requests going over the network. So let's consider the same flow. The very first thing the client tries to access was abc.com. 
so the network uh, it has sent it in HTTP uh, request on the network on the router and it uh, reaches maybe ISP uh, let's say the man in the middle is trying to listen to all the request from the ISP so it uh, listens that uh, this client has sent a request to abc.com so it gets that information here he tries to replicate the same request and sends it back to AS ISP and it goes to the main server then the server sends the same uh, response in HTTPS and it gets to the man in the middle so when the uh, the response came back uh, man in the middle again uh, listened to the response and what he did was he tried to manipulate some data into it or try to add something add a malicious script into it maybe and sent it back over the network to abc.com so let's consider there might be several different cases in uh, in uh, different ways the hackers try to steal the data but let's say a simplest way would be it has sent the request uh, back to the uh, response back to the client as uh, in the HTTP format only not HTTPS so when it is been sent on HTTP that means it has not been encrypted and the all the information over the request you can easily see so what the man in the middle does is it tries to replicate or replicate the exact dummy website as abc.com and sends it back to the client so when as soon as the client gets the response and the site the website has been load on, loaded on uh, the client's browser uh, it is not in HTTPS it is now on that HTTP protocol and when he tries to add the login credentials to that form and submits it so the all the data goes back to ISP and from ISP man in the middle gets all the information and now man in the middle can act really as you as a client and try to communicate to the server and get all the information uh, from the server from your account maybe uh, since he has the login credentials with him so this is how uh, the attacks or man in the middle attacks happen and as I said so this happens uh, mostly if your ISP is compromised or you are using an unsecured network connection like uh, public or open Wi-Fi and when it has been used so man in the middle tries to exploit it and in the response it, it might present you a dummy website which very much looks uh, similar to the original website you know of and so when you try to use your credentials on the dummy website hacker gets all the information and he can use it for his good okay so this was the second scenario wherein man in the middle was trying to listen to all your requests uh, let's say the yes, that abc server has implemented hsts protocol oh sorry policy when i'm saying that the server has implemented this policy that means basically uh, what does Apache or any server what the server does is it tries to send a response as HSTS header so in the response uh, uh, the server sends a HSTS header um, back in the response and when um, uh, let's consider the same scenario when uh, it reaches the man in the middle it uh, gets the HSTS uh, response and still still uh, he can just remove that hsts header or maybe he can keep it but still the client doesn't uh, communicate uh, with the server directly he is still trying to communicate with man in the middle so even if the hsts policy was implemented at the server level uh, still this was not a foolproof way of um, uh, like avoiding this man in the middle attack okay and this is where the hsts preload sorry hsts preload list comes into picture so this is really interesting now so what is hsts preload list is it contains a set of domains which are to be accessed only via https protocol 
So the very interesting part about HSTS preload list is whenever the client first sends a request to router and then ISP and the, the server, it always first checks in the preload list. And from the preload list, it goes to the router. So the most interesting part is that this preload list uh, can uh, or has a list of domains domains or even TLDs top level domains so top level domain can be .com org .dev okay so so the, this is the list uh, managed by the chromium project and other browsers also implement hsds using the same preload list so now whenever the client access this abc.com so let's say that this preload list has abc.com already added to it okay so how we can add uh, to the uh, hsds preload list i'll cover in the later part of this video but let's say the this preload list has abc.com in it so when client requests abc.com without any http or https protocol it first checks in the preload list if this preload list has this domain or not so if it has then from here onwards the request will always go on https and that's it so as soon as the request is on the https even if the man in the middle is keeping on listening on this router or isp since the uh, request is on HTTPS, it has been encrypted and any encrypted request cannot be read by any man in the middle in this complete flow. And this is how actually we can stop any hacking or any intruder coming in between the request and trying to uh, steal your information. So this is how it is. So further down we can uh, cover how you can add your uh, website to the preload list. Alright then, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and also ask them to share it with their friends. And as I always say that, your feedback is most important for me to come up with more useful content. So please comment on this video even if you like or dislike it. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Rohutech. That's all for today's video. Next time I will come up with some other useful video. Till then, stay tuned, stay healthy, be kind and keep hustling. Thank you so much.